Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the ECF sharing session by Far Capital. Now, first of all, I would like to thank everyone for join, taking the time to join us today and listen to the offer presentation from Far Capital. Now, before we begin, we, we'll do some introduction. Uh, my name is Shah. I head up the education bit for Pitchin. For those of you who might not know, uh, Pitchin is an equity crowdfunding platform. We are one of 10 licensed platforms currently operating under the supervision by SE. Now, we were licensed back in 2015, and shortly after that, we ran our first successful campaign in 2016. Now, since then, uh, we have done 60 companies to date. Uh, we have raised upwards of 80 million ringgit now and counting. Right? So happy to note, we are currently the leading ECF platform in Malaysia. Now, that was a little bit about Pichin. We are here today to talk about Far Capital. Now, Far Capital is one of the issuers currently raising funds through ECF on Pichin. Uh, they are the largest private group buyer of primary residential properties in Malaysia. Now, they provide education, financial review, and advisory on portfolio optimization. Now, they are live at the moment with 45 days to go on their campaign. Uh, they have met their minimum target of 250,000, and then now they are gunning for their maximum of 1 million. Right? So, with us here today, we have uh, Faisal Rizwan, the founder and CEO of Far Capital. And he will be joined by his team, Amanda Chong and Ami Kamaruddin. Right? So a little bit of housekeeping before I pass on the session to Faisal. I would like to remind the, the attendees on Zoom and Facebook that you are welcome to type in your questions uh, during the presentation. And Faisal and his team will address those questions after his presentation during the Q&A segment. So I think that's all for me. Uh, like, like my province, I, I, I'm keeping it short and sweet. So whenever you're ready, you can take it away, Faisal. No, you, you said you're going to sing for us. <laughs> oh, well, well let's, let's keep the singing option to later. Right. <laughs> right. So, uh, Salam Alaikum. Very good afternoon for everyone uh, watching today. Um, um, and, uh, it's, 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 it's an honor to present today uh, within the Pichin platform. Uh, uh, my name is Faisal. Uh, you know, and uh, I'm joined by my colleagues, uh, Amanda Chong and Amika Marudi. So, so today we're going to do a slightly different way of pitching, right? And and and, and because I guess um, you know our business is slightly different compared to, I guess after we are watching a lot of um, you know uh, pitching uh, you know fundraisers, uh, you know we, we realize that we we have a slightly different business. Our business is a little bit more traditional compared to the rest. So so with that, I'm going to quickly share my presentation screen. Um, Uh, I mean, can you confirm that we can see full screen now? Yep. Yeah. So, so firstly, I'm I'm, I'm going to apologize uh, because this will be a little bit different, um, and 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 maybe it's not something that you guys are customized to. Uh, but nonetheless, I think different can be good, right? Um, and 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 the reason why it's going to be a bit different because we don't have a sexy tech story. Uh, wonderful group, group projections that we can share with you today. Like we are quite a, you know, normal traditional company who has attained certain level in the industry. Uh, and today we are right now the largest, you know, private uh, property buying group you know, as far as residential high rise property is concerned in Malaysia. We bought over one billion ringgit worth of inventory, and we're hoping to do two or three billion in the next couple of years. Right. So so not really sexy, you know, so buying a bunch of properties. And um, we've been around for quite some time. Um, and, and we've been in business officially 2014. Uh, we've been profitable every year. Um, uh, we don't uh, follow this ideology of, you know, burn rate, uh, you know, like what a regular tech company would do, uh, simply because at the end of the day, we're not really a tech company. Sure, we have certain technological advantage, but uh, at the end of the day, we're not a tech company. We like to run business like how it should normally be run. But the business purpose is to make sure that it's sustainable, it's able to make money for its shareholders, right? So, so our financial performance has been quite okay. You know, uh, we have been growing year on year from both revenue and net profit. Um, net profit has gone down slightly uh, over the years simply because we've been investing in a bunch of uh, tech, but we use it largely in-house, like I said. I don't have any tech story to go and tell you, all right, that we're going to do this, we're going to change the market, you know, and, and that's really not what we're building, right? We're building a lot of things in-house so that we can continue to have 
a significant competitive advantage as far as buying is concerned, right? So, uh, like I said, we've been operating since 2014. We've been profitable every year. We've never lost money. Um, our clientele has grown, you know, um, and, 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 and despite COVID-19, uh, we are on track uh, to, 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 to finish 2020 as a record year for us. Um, and record profits, right? So, so again, I don't have any story to tell you other than, you know, uh, we've run businesses for a couple of years and, you know, we've run it sustainably, right? So, so, so and, and I feel uh, we're just getting started, right? We are really just getting started because uh, in the space that we operate in, uh, number one, we, right now we're the number one player, and number two here, that there's a significant opportunity. Uh, whereby we are in the prime position to take advantage of, right? So, so and, and, and if I were to be extremely honest with you guys, um, we're not raising money because we need money for growth. We actually have more than enough money. We have a couple million of fully paid assets um, and, and we're okay lah when it comes to money. Um, the reason why we're here in Pichin is, you know, we want to get shareholders who are also looking to invest in property. Essentially, when you become an investor today, or essentially becoming a client as well. So you're not just going to make money from the preference share that you're going to buy, you know, of us. Uh, and the key thing here is to really, really make money out of property that you're going to buy, right, from the group, right? So why do I say that we're just getting started? It is because, um, you know, um, there's a record of 41.5 billion of completed and unsold properties. Uh. So this is the space that we are playing on uh, because we're the largest buyer, uh, developer, tends to reach out to my team and offer us a deal that you will not be able to get walking in. Because uh, if I were to be very, very honest, right, um, you know, we buy 50 to 100 units every time, you know, we go into a development and that's the minimum number, right? And when you buy 50 units, you tend to get a better price compared to you were to buy one unit. I mean, that's quite common. Huh? It's a wholesale price versus a retail price, right? So, so, so that's our business. Right, uh, we use the capital to underwrite, get additional discount, and then we translate that discount to the clients, right, of ours, right. So if you become an investor today, right, uh, you'll be able to entitle to, you know, the discount. The discount can be quite high, so it can be anything between just, you know, ten to twenty thousand advantage per property, all the way to hundred fifty thousand. Right. So, so we have had instances whereby. The client walks into the sales gallery of the developer and they are quoted 800,000 ringgit for the same property. But to us, the same property, they can purchase it at only 670,000. That's 130,000 ringgit difference, right? And uh, you know, if you look at, this is basically a report that just basically came out um, only recently for quarter one, 2020, right? If you look at a residential or service apartment and those are the space that we play in, there's roughly about 45,000, right, of unsold units right now. And, and this is the space that we are playing, right? So for us, for the next two to three years, we think it's going to be a phenomenal year for us, uh, simply because developers are desperate. They need to clear inventory in order to make smart cash flow. Uh, groups like us, right, community like us, um, basically <clears throat> take advantage of that, right, take advantage of that. And basically we coordinate, right, with 50 units being bought together, then generally you get a much better price point compared to you were to buy just one unit, right? So, so these are all examples, right, of, of the purchase that we have done, uh, in fact, just during PKP, right? This is basically just during PKP, right? And, 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 and this is basically since March this year, just to give you a sense, right, in terms of um, what is the retail price of what people are buying outside versus our price point and our client's price point. So if you look at it, first condo here, this is a condo nearby MRT and financial hub, right? And if you look at this one, for example, our clients are buying at 260,000 cheaper compared to the guy who bought the same property last year. And this one is uh, somewhere in Damansara, whereby clients are able to buy the 300,000 price point cheaper. The Lutamas one is 200,000 cheaper buying through this particular community and group. And then this one buying at 100,000 cheaper, right? So this is basically what we have done in just the last six months, right? So this is what our clients are buying. And if you become an investor today, you're going to be able to have access to properties with such discounts, right? 
And these are all, if you look at it here, real six figure discount, real six figure advantage, right? And this is our latest deal, the one that we just concluded. And for the first time, we are buying from a top 10 property developer in the country. And we are buying new property at a 50% discount. You heard that right, guys. It's 50% discount. So these are things that you normally hear when you buy clothes, right? And, 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 and you know, today I am buying properties at 50% discount. Okay. And the best part here is that the buyers, when they buy the property, not only they don't have to pay money, they get 100,000 back, right? So it's called cash back. And on top of that, right, um, the rental, we've done the math, right? And, and the rental is able to sustain borrowings even after you take 100,000 cash out, right? So there's a saying in investment where you, you don't make money when you sell, you make money when you buy. This is a clear example of what can be done when you have certain volume buying, you know, large number of properties and you tend to get a much better price point, okay? So this is not a complicated business model, like guys. We buy a lot, so we get more discount and you buy little, you don't get as much discount, right? So, so today we are the largest buyer of primary residential property market in Malaysia. Um, uh, we, we basically, our, our four key competencies here is that we do research, right? We do research and we are quite good at it, right? Uh, today, you know, uh, a lot of our purchase in the last two or three years today has given decent property cash flow. This part, you know, clients not paying a single cent to go and buy. In some cases, clients are being paid not to go buy this property and still positive cash flow, right? Uh, we get, you know, we because we buy in bulk, right? We buy a lot of units one go, we tend to get better discounts compared to you were to buy individually, right? Uh, we do financial review, right, for clients. Uh, we help them to basically reduce existing debts. You know, we do portfolio review. Uh, we, we change expensive short-term debts into very cheap long-term debts. So basically, you go from 5,000 monthly commitment to just 2,000 or 3,000. So it means you can save a couple of thousand extra money. So in times like this, those are extremely uh, helpful. Uh. And then lastly, we consult and we educate our clients in order to build you know, a multi-million dollar property portfolio. Right, so basically these are all our clients' results. Uh, I don't want to bore you with it. These are basically real people, you know, um, you know and, and, and I think uh, we have done quite well for many of our clients. Um, uh, in terms of the founders and the owners of the company, uh, basically uh, myself and Amanda, basically, uh, you know, uh, Amanda is the COO of the company. Uh, I'm the CEO and the founder of the company. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, cumulatively between the two of us, we bought more than 80 properties already, just between the two of us. Uh, so it's not something that we only do two or three years ago, right? So this is something that we have done for the last 15 years. And we have converted this particular interest now to become a business because we realize with scale, you tend to just get a much better price point, right? So, um, you know, we've been featured in media, etc. Right? So I think I'm going to get my colleague Ami to, to, to brief you guys a little bit in terms of the offers of today. Yeah. Thanks, Faisal. So what we're offering today is very, very interesting. Um, so with 4,500 is the minimum value um, that you guys uh, want to invest in FAR Capital. Um, we have a minimum target of 250,000 and a maximum target of 1 million. Currently, the minimum target has already been hit. Um, these shares are going to be preference shares. Um, it's going to be redeemable preference shares um, at a price of 500 each. So with 4,500 ringgit of investment, uh, what you're going to get is, uh, next slide, Faisal. You're going to get um, four things. Number one is bulk purchase. So all this value um, cumulatively is actually way more than 50,000 ringgit. So we guarantee you that you're going to have at least access uh, to, to, to a property with at least 20% uh, discount below bank value. Um, we're also going to do portfolio optimization whereby you'll be able to strategize your property portfolio uh, based on your current financial standing because we understand different people have got different financial standing. So your case and another person's case is not the same. So we treat every case differently. 
Um, road to 3 million, basically building a portfolio um, that is worth 3 million. But I would say, I want to highlight the most important thing here is that we are going to teach you how to build this portfolio safely because you can always like, build it, but it can be a dangerous way as well. So safely is, is super, super important on our part. Um, exit option um, is the last one, which is the most interesting one. Um, you have two options here. First, uh, you can get 100% of your investment back in 36 months, meaning in three years time, you, we will give you back um, the 4,500 that you have invested with us. And after you've done all this, you know, you got all the value and stuff, we give 100% money back. So it's actually a super big win on your side. Um, second option, if you still want to stay with us, um, we are planning for a listing uh, in Bursa. So you will be given an option, um, a priority in comparison with the public to convert your preference shares to ordinary shares at a prevailing market price. So I think that's a big, big advantage uh, that you want to have looking at the company's profitability, which is very strong uh, financially. Um, so yeah, that's our offer for today. Lah. Faisal, go ahead. All right. Thank you, Amin. So basically, guys, um, I would say the people who should consider investing in far capital as of today, number one, must be people who have general interest into real investment like properties. So basically, if you think what we tell you today makes sense, you buy in bulk, you get more discount, and you want your debt to be paid by someone else, it means from a cash flow point of view, it's quite sustainable. Then I think becoming a client becomes a no-brainer proposition, right? By investing 4,005, you get to become a client technically for free because three years later, we're going to refund you 4,005. Or if you think, you know, you like the company and you want to join us prior to listing, you might even list the company before the end of three years. And uh, when that happens, we're going to give you the option to convert your preference share into ordinary shares at the pre, uh, you know, uh, IPO price point. Okay. So, 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 like I said, for those who are looking to really invest in both properties and, you know, pre IPO companies, then, you know, we, uh, we are basically a proposition as of today. Uh, we think based on our financial projections, uh, I want to go back. Uh, we should be able to clear the ACE revenue requirement uh, uh, conservatively, uh, you know, next year, but we think there's a decent chance that we'll be able to clear the revenue requirement even this year. We are having a record year this year, actually, right, despite COVID-19 for us. So, so moving on, right, in terms of what you're going to get already, right, so you are very clear, it's 4,005. Uh, you get to be a client. The price point to become a client is up today with no shares is 3899. If you become a client today, uh, with, under this scheme, it's basically 4005 and you get to become a client for free for three years, right? And within three years, uh, we either refund you back your capital or we, you know, uh, you can convert it into a uh, ordinary share prior to the listing. So, so essentially, this is our ecosystem. Uh, uh, this is basically how we build our ecosystem. We have an education arm, right? And then we have a bulk purchase arm. And then after the property is completed, uh, we have a renovation arm that basically help, uh, you know, your property correctly fitted to maximize rental return. And then we have a Utopia Co-Living, which is a property management arm that basically help you maximize return versus time spent. So essentially, you're talking about, and the reason why a lot of people who are highly educated professionals become, choose to become clients of Pi Capital is simply because, uh, you know, it's quite easy. Like, you buy a property, you buy at a you know, significant discount. No one is buying cheaper compared to us, right? On top of that, you know, um, renovation can be sorted out because we can help manage that for you. On top of that, even property management can be managed, right? So you can choose to outsource both the renovation and the property management. So it's technically, it's quite a hands-free way of investing in properties. Uh. So right now, we're the only ecosystem officially doing this end-to-end -end from education all the way to helping people to buy, helping people to renovate, and then helping people to manage their property, right? So so, so uh, who should be an investor? I think uh, we've mentioned before, right? Number one here is that if you are genuinely love the idea of becoming a property investor, uh, and you want to buy property cheaper compared to anyone else, then, you know, um, a primary market property cheaper than anyone else, then becoming a client is uh, actually a no-brainer proposition of investor today because we are buying at 30,000, sometimes all the way to 200,000 cheaper. 
right? Uh, we also think that the property bull run is coming. So I think if you position yourself in the next two years, I'm sorry, 18 months nicely, you will be able to take advantage of the upcoming property bull run, right? So number two here is that we want to make above average rental and capital gain returns using our proven strategy and network. Because for me and Amanda, you know, and Ami itself, we've been investing, you know, uh, cumulatively for more than 30 years already, right? And, 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 and with, you know, uh, close to just personal property, right? It's already like, you know, quite a fair bit. So, so we're not, you know, doing this yesterday, right? We've been doing this for 15 years and now we're translating it into a methodology to allow people to invest safely. And thirdly, uh, like I said, I don't have a sexy story to tell you. I don't have a tech story to go and tell you whether we're going to get, you know, million number of users and, you know, we're going to change the market, we're going to disrupt this and that. I don't have any of that story here. My story is very simple. You buy a lot of property, you get more discount. Right, on top of that, um, you know, the properties that we are buying because of our methodology and proven way of investment in the last 15 years, because I personally, you know, my 5 billion in the last recession, right? Purely from properties. So we are translating that into things that a client can invest safely. So if you want to invest uh, in properties and you want to invest in business that's got a proven track record of being able to sustain themselves in the last couple of years, and not only not being hit by COVID, in fact, being able to grow during COVID, then I think, you know, uh, far capital, uh, becoming an investor in far capital today is an uh, attractive proposition. Yeah. So in terms of growth strategy, very simple. The reason why we are here in Pichin, not really to raise money. Uh, we want to raise the number of investors that can join our community, right? So when you invest 4,005, like I said, we are able to return your capital because our idea is to, to, to make sure the group becomes bigger. Because the bigger the, the community becomes, the better the discount we all get, right? So in a way, you win, I win, you know, everyone is happy, right? So number two here is that we are already right now working with already couple because we, we, we buy quite a fair bit, right? So we can buy a few hundred in a single development. So today we are now one of the number, one of the top five, you know, top three choices that developer go to before they even want to launch any property. So they come to us, ask us what kind of property they should be building, right? What kind of price point that, you know, far capital and this client would be willing to buy. I already have three to four developers building properties just purely for far capital. So that means only far capital clients get to buy this property, right? So naturally, because we designed the property from the start, uh, the property tends to be quite good, lah, right? And our game here is to buy property using as minimum cash as possible, right? Uh, we have already invested uh, a few hundred thousand already in our digital infrastructure and pre screening and predictive capability. So that means, you know, um, we have, uh, you know, some form of technology that we build proprietary in house uh, that we can unleash into the market, provided it doesn't disrupt our own, you know, company property advantage. Now. So, for example, to give you an essence, I will be able to tell you your loan capability in just a matter of a few minutes as of today, right? So, so these are capability that we have been building in-house, right? And, 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 and last but not least, for example, you know, if you end up uh, getting listed in Bursa, so again, the game plan here, raise capital so that we have more money to go and underwrite and buy it, you know, blocks by blocks of apartments uh, at a significant discount so that our clients get to buy way cheaper compared to market, right? So, that's really it. Uh, we have a pretty simple business. I don't think it's very complicated for a lot of people to understand. It's already a proven business model in the last five to six years. We've been profitable for, for, for every year that we have operated. We have been growing for every year we have operated. Uh, in fact, in crisis like, you know, 2020, whereby, you know, we expect property transaction to drop to 20 year low. We're having our record here. So like I said, I think, um, at the end of the day, we run our business sustainably. Um, and, and, you know, if you become an investor today, uh, uh, I think, um, you know, you know that you are investing not on a non-proven business idea. You're not investing in a growth story. You're investing in a business that has been profitable for six years running. And, uh, and will, inshallah, continue to be profitable for the next couple of years, right? So thank you so much, guys, for your attention. Um, and, and I think, uh, I think this is the time we do, do we have, do, do we answer Q and A at this stage? Uh, Shah, it seems that we have some, some questions, Shah. Um, yeah. you want to help read? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that was, uh, an interesting session by Faisal. 
and and his team. Uh, okay, now I different, think, right? Yeah, yeah, a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought you were singing uh, at the end of that, so I was waiting for the song to <laughs> so come I was, on before. I was, I was, I was waiting for you, man. Um. <laughs> I actually went was with was waiting for the song before I, before we move on to the Q and A lah. But you know, <laughs> maybe we we we'll leave the song till till later, lah, right? Uh, Eye of the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Eye of the tiger. Yeah, man. Right. So there's a few questions here on Facebook and on Zoom. I'll just read it out so you can answer it. Right. Sure. Uh, so this one comes from Chia Yi Li. Uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic, analysts forecast a slowdown in real estate. However, there doesn't seem to be any decrease in your revenue. Can you explain what you are doing differently to maintain high revenue? So, so first and foremost, um, you know, if you look at our 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 plan, right? So, so for example, um, you know, let's just look at the revenue target, right, for year 2020. Uh, this is not a target. This is already ongoing work that we are actually doing. So we are actually on track to either meet this, potentially to even surpass this, right? So so the reason why we are different here is that number one here, if you look at the government incentive, right? The government incentive is rewarding people to buy unsold property. So under the HOC 2.0, Home Ownership Campaign 2.0, which was launched in June and Penjana campaign that was launched, uh, you know, sometime in July, if I recall correctly, by our Ministry of Finance. You can see here, uh, you know, there's no incentive you want to buy sale. There's not much incentive you want to buy long. But there's plenty of incentive if you want to buy new, for example, stamp duty, you don't have to pay, MOT, you don't have to pay. On top of that, uh, you know, we already have a reputation with property developers whereby we're actually quite tough negotiators, uh, but, you know, uh, but we can deliver. So that means we negotiate really, you know, uh, people, developer always told me you negotiate like a Yahudi, like basically, like a Jew, right? So, 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 I take it as a compliment, uh, because I'm doing my part as the, as, as the leader of the community. And as long as you actually able to buy property at the right price point, they will always be by That's point number one, right? Point number two here is that in most of our deals, our investors don't have to put much cash. So, for example, in a lot of our property deals, right, maximum that you have to put is 10,000. In most of the cases, you put 2,000 and you get 50,000 back, you know? So this is called, whereby because you, you buy the property way below market value, that your loan is actually above what you are paying. So in that sense, right, so because people don't really have to come up with any money, right, so, so and the rental can be sustainable. So people like this idea of investing safely at the same time, don't have to use a lot of money. So with that, I think we've been able to, to really capitalize um, and, and, and the slowdown and, and, and we are growing. So, 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 so we, we, we were uh, a little bit lucky, but at the same time, our business model, this is something that we have predicted in the last three years. When we look at the property overhang, and when, we, when you look at property overhang, a lot of people seem to view it negatively, but for us, it's music in our ears, uh, simply because more overhang means more desperate developers, more desperate developers, the largest buying group like me have got more, you know, negotiating advantage. Yeah. I think I think there's there's always opportunities to be gained through uh, hardship, and, yeah. right? So yeah. okay, there's another follow up question by the same person, but I think you've answered this. But let let me just uh, air out the question. So are you targeting only primary properties or also sub sale, secondary, or auction properties as well? I think we started far cap in 2014. We do buy secondary market. We buy whatever makes sense, right? So it yeah. has to be make sense, right? So in 2014, 2015, when property prices for primary market is insane, right? Uh, we, we told people to stay away from high rise. Then 2015, 2016, then you see oversupply and overhang begin to increase. That's when, for example, we, we start buying primary market property. We buy based on weakness, right? So here's the thing, right? Um, and 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 today, I'm buying new property at a price point which is cheaper than sub sale. So I'll give you an example, right? Okay. And, and you know, That's somewhat surprising to me, <laughs> but yeah, okay. So, so for example, in this particular deal, right, the yeah. sub sale, right, valuation, mm -hmm. you know, based on the last two transactions, is 600,000. Our clients are able to buy below 400,000. That's a 200,000 price advantage. So I mean, like, basically, if I were to put it simple, right? Mm -hmm. You want to pay six hundred thousand buy sub sale, or you want to pay four hundred thousand buy new. You want to yeah. pay sixty thousand down payment to buy sub sale, or you want to pay one thousand to go buy new, yeah, right? Exactly. And if you buy sub sale, there's a transaction cost of stamp duty and MOT, which roughly it comes yeah. about five percent, right? So that's thirty thousand. 
you buy new, it's free because it's sponsored by the government, right? Under the incentive. So there's really no sense, no, no, no reason as of today if you are looking to buy new property to buy from some sale. Because if you buy from developer, buy, you gotta buy in bulk and you can always get to buy cheaper. Yeah. So to us, it's very simple. Uh, use less money, you get to buy cheaper. So there's no reason to go look sub as of today. <laughs> so of course, if you look at our, 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 our projections here, right? Um, no, no. Mm -hmm. If you look at our projection here, you can see here, starting from 2023 to 2024, you can see the revenue begin to decrease, right? It is because we think the overhang situation in Malaysia would have been largely resolved, and then there will be lesser opportunities. It doesn't mean that we're going to be less profitable. It just means that in terms of the number of deals available, it becomes less safe. So we are quite realistic, I think, in our projections. We think things are going to peak 2022, 2023. That's where, for example, you know, we aim to really list. And then after that, you know, um, you know, we think revenue will uh, pair down, especially from primary market. Maybe 2024, 2025, that's when we're going to start looking back at secondary market. But today, um, you know, you have significant advantage of buying from primary market. There's really no reason to do something, especially if you can buy cheaper. Yep, fair enough. Okay, so we have a few questions here on Zoom. We'll go through it one by one. Huh? Uh, sure. when, when is your target date projection for Bursa listing? you have answered this but you know feel free to answer. Um, <laughs> I think realistically speaking uh, we're looking at 2022 to 2023 so so um, you know um, ideally you want to do it earlier at 2022 but I think latest if the direction of the company doesn't change um, you know we are targeting a 2022 to 2023 bursa listing so for example uh, we already engage we already engaging consultants up to date uh, this year, we've changed our accountants from, you know, uh, uh, to KPMG uh, in lieu of, you know, this pot possible listing uh, because, you know, okay. you want to use a big four accounting firm and of course you, you want to be clear of all, you know, potential, uh, you right. know, stuff, uh, right? So, so we are doing it already, you know, my CEO is working very, very hard, sleepless night, you know, um, <laughs> and, and, and making sure that our accounts are all proper and okay, right? Yeah. So, so, so we are already... Working in the process is a question of really timing uh, in terms of meeting the requirement. We feel that we're going to be able to meet the requirement next year. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are bidding our time. We will list when we are ready. I would say to uh, pos possible investors today, uh, the idea of listing is serious because similar to today, uh, the only objective for us is not really raise capital that much. Lah. It's really to obtain more clients, to get people to be aware about what we are doing the community becomes bigger and we buy property at a cheaper price point. We want to be, we want developer to build safe inventory from the start because that's the reason why you have overhang. Mm -hmm. No, developers suka suka, right? Uh, you yeah. know, thing uh, based on one feedback and these guys are billionaire. I want my toilet to be 1,000 square foot. But you know, common folks like us, uh, <laughs> no, 1,000 square foot is a three bedroom house or uh, four bedroom house, right? <laughs> Yeah, man. So, 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 you know, I've got one developer thinking about building an ice skating ring on the level 50. I'm looking at the developer and like, hello, are you, you know, you, can you go down and listen to the Rayat Marhain? Uh? No one gives a damn about skiing <laughs> on level 50. How, how many right? of us can ski pun lah, right? <laughs> so, so, I mean like, you know, but you know, the moment we are listed and, and we have certain credibility, right? Because when, when once, for example, right, let's say a developer builds something and we buy up everything, right? So yeah. the risk is lower for them. Mm -hmm. And from our investors' point of view, and when the risk is lower for them, they can price it lower too, yep. right? Mm -hmm. So when they can price it lower, our investors tend to gain, right? Okay, okay. okay so another question. If I invest 4,500, does this mean I will become client automatically without paying? Yes. Okay. Right. That's uh, the benefit. Uh, uh, it's supposed to be higher. Two years ago, mm -hmm. our client fee is 19,000. So okay. today, so today is um, uh, today is uh, four thousand five, and you own preference share, um, okay. and 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 the reason here is that, like I said, our goal is very clear now. The larger we are, the larger this community becomes, the more leverage we have in terms of getting property at a very good price point. So you are using me, and I'm using you, lah. So I'm 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 just going to be very honest, lah. That's okay. our business model. It's nothing. It's, there's no rocket science here, lah. Okay. I think you have answered this, but it may be useful to reiterate. In the revenue slides, why is there a dip in revenue after 2023? But I think you know you so, so, answered this. 
Right, so we think there's a property bull run coming starting from 2022, right? And overhang will still continue for the next two to three years. That's where, for example, we have, uh, you know, a significant demand. Uh, mm -hmm. And then after that comes 2023, 2024, during that the uh, beginning, you know, uh, somewhat 25, 30% towards the property bull run, then the need to give us such large discount from property developers will actually decline. And point of order, right? Because there's, there's not much need, number two here, there's already not much stock too. So therefore, we have to be realistic. Lah. Look, looking at our projections, you know, of growing by about 400%, you know, 350% in the last four years, if I want to pay the story, I can just say I grew 50% year of year. Lah. But like I said, lah, I don't want to mislead anyone. Uh, we have not, uh, we don't have a reputation of overselling and under-delivering. So, so we, we want to be realistic. Uh, and, and if you look at it, I think we can comfortably crush these numbers. But then again, like I said, officially, this is going to be our stand. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll read out a few questions from Facebook. Uh, Anik Anas is asking, you mentioned about property bull run. How sure are you about this? Because he's saying that, you know, people are losing their jobs and struggling. So why are you so confident that people are going to buy properties uh, and the market is going to be positive later on? Okay. So, um, so I'm a, I've been investing since, since 2005, right? So I've gone through one recession, which is the global financial crisis in 2008 to 2010. So similarly, at that point of time, people are losing their jobs and, 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 and you know, things are not looking as good now. So, so, so then we had a property bull run in 2010 to 2015. So I bought like 20 properties before that, right? So I, I don't know anything about property bull run. So I'm not going to say I'm a genius investor. I clearly don't know, right? So what I did here is that as long as my rental can cover my installment, where lah, right? So that's was my philosophy lah. Me and Amanda were investing at that point of time, right? And, and, and we didn't know about any property bull run, right? So thanks to that, I became a, you know, I made my first 5 billion out of property investment, right? So thanks to that property bull run, but I did it by luck. So I was very curious, why was I able to make this kind of money so easily? Lah? So I began to study recessions. And I, 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 I discovered that four triggers, right? Of why a property bull run can happen, right? And sometimes, if you trigger two out of the four, right, dominoes, right, is enough to trigger a property bull run. So I didn't make this prediction last year. I didn't make this prediction 2018 or 17. We're not like, you know, trying to say, oh, property bull run happening every year. You know, we don't have this. I've only been saying it this year. And it is because the four dominoes or the four triggers that we notice that basically result in property bull run globally, right, has been triggered this year. So I think, okay. So these are basically the four dominoes, right? That triggered property bull run in 2019, right? So like I said, I've studied recessions and I, ju I don't just study Malaysia. I studied Singapore, I studied Hong Kong, China, US, UK, right? And what we discovered here, every time there's a massive drop of interest rate, there's a relaxation of ownership and financing policies and you have above average economic growth, right? And on top of that, you've got a decent, you know, uh, performing financial market. Normally, two of these four is enough to trigger a property bull run. But right now, we are hitting, you know, four of these dominoes begin to fall. So basically, I'm quite confident that I think a property bull run is coming. Right? So, so again, you take my word with a pinch of salt. My suggestion to every viewer reading and watching today is that go and study history a little bit. Right? Because for us, the data is very clear. We know these are the four signals that triggers property bull run globally, not just Malaysia. But it is, of course, the main signals that trigger property bull run in Malaysia 10, 11 years ago. So that recession, I made 10, you know, 5 million. I'm hoping to be able to make slightly more this round, you know, 15 to 20 million. Um, so if you, if you think what I shared with you today makes sense, you know, join us today and become an investor. Okay, all right. There's another one in, on FB that actually kind of ask the same thing but a bit different way. Uh, you're highlighting about the revenue and profit going to grow in 2020 but you know uh, have you factored in the COVID situation and how it affects your business because it is affecting every other business tragically right currently? So, so here's the thing right. Um, yep. We have about I think 1,300, 1,400 clients mm -hmm. at January 2020 right. So that's our number, right? So we have a thousand, two thousand, three hundred clients in January 2020. 
Okay. Today, we have close to 3,000. Okay. <laughs> so, it took us five years to get to 1,000 to 1,500 clients. We doubled that in the space of five months. Okay. So, yes, COVID-19 has affected my business, but not in the way that you think. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right? So, and, 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 and note, again, right? So, so it's, it's like I said, lah, but like I said, you know, we, we, we do a lot of education, right? So we do a lot of free education. So if you follow my Facebook, Pfizer is one, and you follow, you know, our, our Pfizer is private group, where we actually teach people for free. We actually highlight all the signals of property will run, the criteria of buying the right property. And at the end of the day, like I said, the reason why we have engineers, professionals joining us, because at the end of the day, we, 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 we're not saying it for the sake of saying it. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not running a sales class, right? So essentially, like I said, I made 5 million in the last property recession. We have a recession now after 11 years. I think I'm going to make more. And the proposition, if anyone wants to join us, you know, become a client. And a lot of people end up becoming a client because they, 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 they like our methodology because, you know, we do really a lot of research, guys. I think we, we, there's no one out there that does more research than us before we buy any property. Uh, I, I employ about four to five people full time just for research. Right, so so that's how serious we are when it comes to looking at opportunities. Uh. And and when when you know we get called by developers per month, for example, we easily have about 10 to 20 invitations. We reject 90% of the invitations simply because you know, the price point doesn't make sense. We think people are not gonna be able to survive buying that, so we tend to reject it. So only a handful of property gets shortlisted, then from there, only a handful of properties gets recommended. So, so we take our role very seriously. We want to last for the next 30 years. Uh, you know, we're trying to build a business, you know, that is sustainable. Uh, and for us, that trust is very important. Uh. My biggest idol and mentor is Warren Buffett. And Warren Buffett always say, you know, it takes 20 to 30 years to build a reputation. It takes five minutes to destroy it. Uh. So, yeah. so I take that word by heart. You know, my, my CEO, Amanda Chong, is uh, as straight as an arrow. You know, uh, she's a, you know, uh, she's a no-nonsense brother, right? Mm -hmm. Once you speak to her, then you also understand that everything that we do is data driven. you know, it's not uh, being motivated by, you know, things like, you know, hey, I made 5 million in the past, just follow me lah. You know, you don't know anything. No, show all the data before we buy. So I think, I think for people who are analytical and they like the data, and they like proof before they buy anything, they will love us. But we're mm -hmm. not selling a story. And, and just but to add... I think the traction and the public realizes is that we are different from others, that we actually use facts and data in order to present our case. And therefore, during, during COVID-19, during the two months, we have made this Pfizer Rizwan private group. And the group within two months has reached like 50, 60,000 views of people. So traction has been really, really good so far. Yeah. So interestingly, thanks, I mean, for putting out. We, we, we did a private group because, you know, we realized recession is coming. And I've been through one recession and I don't know how bad it can get. So we decided to do a group for free, right? And the, the thought process is just really to contribute to the country and society, right? Because we want to educate people, prepare people, you know, refinance, you know, save cash and all of that, right? Financial tips, right? So we begin to educate for free. So on the 18th of March, since PKP, that group has got zero member. Come 1st of June, we have over 50,000. And we educate every week without fail, two or three times a week for free. So I think people like our, 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 our intention, people like our security, and people begin to ask, hey, how do you become a client? How do you become a client? How do you become a client? So this growth was, uh, I would say, is, is unexpected. Uh, we welcome it, of course. And, and today we are pitching to basically just say, you know, something similar. Like, I mean, like, I'm not selling you a sexy story, really. Mm. You know, Adam, they, you like properties, you love us. If you want to buy a property, a bit kiasu like me, want to buy property cheaper than anyone else, don't want anyone else to get more discount than you, uh, then you become a client. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so, so another question I, by JP, I think. So he's asking, what does the 18 million consist of? Uh, rental, what else? No, it's basically also marketing your... revenue, right? Marketing revenue, we, we, we have two forms of uh, primary revenue, right? Hmm. One is the client fee, for example, you know, when we, people become a client, they pay, you know, 3899 in Saturday, right? So hmm. one of it, right? So about half of it is going to come from that, right? And then the other balance will be marketing fee, whereby when you market a property and behalf of property developer, we tend to get a commission or a marketing fee. Hmm. So, so that 18 million basically is the revenue for both client and a marketing fee. So then hmm. you'll be asking, is there a conflict of interest? Because, you know, we're basically selling property for commission now. 
So you can view it that way, but then again, at the same time, the guarantee that I can give you here is that I guarantee you, you will not be able to buy cheaper than a price one. And that can be guaranteed is simply because we actually underwrite. So every project that we go in, we put a deposit of half a million, one million ringgit, just to get those additional discounts to make sure that our client gets a competitive advantage. So the revenue we get, we plow it back into other projects whereby we actually underwrite and we, we, we say, look, this is our commitment level, there's 50 units, I'm going to park 1 million here. If I fail 50 units, you get to keep my 1 million now. So essentially, in exchange, my clients get a 50,000 additional discount, 100,000 additional discount. Amanda, you want to add something on that? And um, I think we can talk about a very realistic scenario here. Uh, you would, uh, as a shareholder of Far Capital, you would then ask the next question, is there risk, right? Where we put in so much money to, to commit. Uh, of course, there is risk. For example, in most cases, our risk doesn't come from us not being able to deliver. Uh, our limitation and challenge always comes in the form of financing. Yeah. So we've had, uh, we can be very honest, we've had projects where we put in six-digit underwriting commitment fee and we're unable to complete and meet the target because we weren't able to get financing for the clients. And uh, this is a limitation that's not caused by our side. It's a macro uh, economy situation that we're having right now. And of course, uh, uh, when, when project progresses towards completion and all that, it gets more challenging. So uh, it is calculated risk that we're willing to take on in exchange for our clients' benefits so that they can get extra discount. Mm. And this to us is a fair investment. Uh, it's a form of reinvestment uh, of profits that we do. Yeah. Right. So that's how, in terms of secret, how do we are able to buy properties at a way cheaper price point compared to the public if you were to walk in on the way. And I think one more important thing is that our relationship with the client is not a short-term relationship whereby once we sell the properties and then we're off, we're done with you guys. No, um, we, the relationship is until you know, the property has been rented out, um, generating the cash flow that we've promised um, to be generated. So it's a really longer term relationship. Lah. So, mm. so it's not just selling properties. Okay. So let me look at, uh, I, I think that's all for the questions. Right. Okay. Uh, for you guys who are still with us, you can find Far Capital's business page currently live on Pitchin with 45 days to go in the campaign. Right. So just head on to www.equity.pitchin.my and look for them under the investment opportunities. Now, for those of you who might still have questions, you can go on to uh, the Q&A section of their business page and post a question there. And I think Faisal and his team will be on hand to answer all of your questions, right? So as a quick reminder, if you haven't done so, please do register as investors. Um, now, as investors, you would have access to the full offer documents as well as financial information about Far Capital. Now, let me just have another look, quick look to see whether it's, there's any question. Uh, okay. So, who's going to do the singing? I mean, come. <laughs> Oh, Faisal, <laughs> before we close our session today. The, the, the karaoke king here is definitely Ami. Allah, so <laughs> you look at him, so you know. Lah, you know. Yeah. I, cannot sing, I cannot sing to save my life. Lah, you know. <laughs> I sing for three seconds, you know, the yeah, guy's yeah. going to ship me the yeah, head. Exactly, exactly. I'm I mean, in that category also. One more hour just for the singing. Lah, so <laughs> just lah. one more hour uh. for just for the singing. Eh? <laughs> okay, I think, I, I think that's, uh, we can safely conclude our session today. Lah. So before we go, any parting words from, from any of you? Um, Amanda, I mean, um, no, from my side, it's actually we're very excited to open this up uh, to investors. So this is our first time um, offering preference shares, um, and and at the same time, you know, I think this is a zero risk investment because ultimately the exit option is either you get hundred percent of your money back after you get all those values, or you can convert those shares into ordinary shares if you really love the company. So yeah, happy investing lah from my side. Amanda, you want to anything? Um, and uh, like how we described just now, we're looking for um, really partners to, to come together, invest together, and grow our wealth together for the next 20, 30 years. It's a long-term uh, commitment and relationship. Uh, there, there are a lot of things that uh, we are investing to create value for our clients. But at the same time, we're also looking for clients who believe in what we do so that they can enjoy the maximum benefit out of this uh, relationship 
working relationship. Yeah. So look forward to uh, see you guys uh, in our one percent club. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I think that's all from us today. Uh, we'd like to thank all of you for spending your time with us. Uh, I hope everyone will continue to have a nice day and we hope to see you here again soon. Uh, so good day and stay safe everyone. Stay safe guys. Assalamualaikum. Have a good weekend. Assalamualaikum.